Hello everyone, my name is Gino Haunter and welcome back to another Halloween video. And in today's upload, we're gonna be talking about the brand new Morse costumes animatronics for 2021, along with my friend here, the Halloween Nightmare. Hi. <laughs> but, all right. So we have a few new animatronics. There's, let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just 10 technically, but the, the, the last four are kind of their own little mini series, if you will. Um, but we'll get to that last. <laughs> uh, but but starting off, we have the 10-foot Towering Reaper. This is literally just the Home Depot skeleton, but with a, a cloak and better, way better. I think he's awesome. What do you think of him? I think he's better, and I think I made a mistake by buying the 2018 one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Towering Party Reaper's cool, but like I like this one shoots it out of the water. This one's really awesome. Yeah, I'm probably going to end up trying to buy it. Yeah, I hope. I mean, my, my guess is that since there's more clothing on it, and there's probably some extra details, it probably would be a little over 300. Hey, I don't even know how much the 12-foot 12, 12 skeleton was. What is, uh, I think, 500? 500? Yeah. Uh, well, I guess it depends on retailer, then. I'm not sure. But... Yeah. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think he does any animation other than the... The eyes being digital and the rib cage lighting up that green color, but I really like it. I heard his head turns in his mouth. That's cool. Yeah. All right, that definitely raised the price a lot then, over maybe over five hundred or I don't know, but I mean it, it's smaller. It's it's ten feet compared to twelve feet, so who knows? It but probably, it's cool. It probably doesn't have the entire like cell like the. Oh yeah, that's a that's another good point. It seems to be like standing in a straight straight like. Mhm. Mm I hope it does have um I I I hope it includes animation because like the twelve foot one was cool but of course you couldn't really have any animation since its whole ex literally literal exoskeleton was exposed. Overall, I I really like the ten foot Town Reaper. I don't know if it's one I would get. I mean, I also have to wait to see what Spirit has, but yeah. So our second one that we have to offer is the Cellar Dweller. This is my favorite one. I, I think, my favorite one. yeah, he's, he's so cool and really creepy looking. This is like a, I don't know, I think it's like a seven foot towering zombie. It's in like a suit. It has the moss covering its shoulders, the raggedy white hair and the green LED eyes. Um, oh God, that voice crack. <laughs> but I love this one. This is my favorite one that has um, been shown. What do you think of this one, Tristan? I really think the Cellar Dweller is very cool. S cellar Dweller? Cellar Dweller. Cellar Dweller. Cellar Dweller. All right, anyways, we mm. both like this one a lot. This is our favorite one. I think he's awesome. I, I'm pretty sure he does that same animation as the Pumpkin King animatronic that I, I don't know where that thing was even released at last year, but it does like I the. Think it was in it was where a uh, UK, yeah. But it has like, the arm moving up and down. I think the head turned and the mouth moved. So that's probably what this guy's gonna do. Um, but this one's a thousand times better than the latter. He has like the same hands yeah, as Lunging Reaper. I noticed as well. I think it's kind of interesting. I, I think I don't really have anything else to say about this one though. What, what, do you have any other final thoughts? No. So the next one we'll be talking about is Cotton Candace. Uh, this one's weird. The face sculpt that they just, that they chose for this one is really odd. It's literally that same girl from um, clowning around, but they just threw it in like a little pan with pink stuff, you know, cotton candy in it. And I think the animation consists of like it twirling around and, and maybe the arms move around. I'm not sure, but what do you think of this? I think it's ugly, but it's a good background prop for like a clown scene. Yeah, you couldn't have said it better, <laughs> but. Eh, she's all right. She's, I, I'm pretty sure she's going to be $200, but I don't know the prices for many of these props, unfortunately. But 200 for her, eh, it's a little pricey, unless it's large, like it's a large animatronic, which um, I'd hope it is, but yeah. Next up, we have the Cauldron Duo. I don't know, there's not much to say with this. They're basically the exact same Cauldron Witches that we've seen before, but the Cauldron's different. It kind of has a cooler design to it, in my opinion. Yeah, it's a lot creepier. I feel, and it doesn't have the three witches. It's the, like, it's much better. It's much creepier and darker looking, so. Yeah, I don't know. I, I was never a fan of the Cauldron Witches, personally. I thought they were kind of cheesy, but who knows? Maybe this one will be different, because they, they actually do look really unsettling in the photos. Like, the one which is just hunched back, stirring the um, the cauldron. I assume the other one's probably going to, like, 
chant a spell or something. But, yeah, there's not much to talk about with those ones. Um, but our, we have another witch, which is the Soothsayer Witch. This one's one of my favorites as well. I really like this one. You can make her either stand up or sit down. And she has the same digit eye animation as like the, the 12 foot skeleton or wailing phantom. She's very cool. Um, I like the feature where she can stand up or sit down. Yeah. And she's just, she's overall more creepy than the other SVI clowns, like, as well. I mean, witches. Yeah. Um, but she's very cool. Um, I like the feature where she can stand up or sit down. Yeah. She's just overall more creepy than the other SVI clowns, like, as well. Yeah. I don't even know what the animation will be besides the eyes. I mean, it, it looks like the mouth moves. Maybe the arm moves, but don't don't know there's obviously going to be some sort of like swivel mechanism to make her like sit or stand up but yeah i, I like her a lot and I'd say, I'd say she's probably around 300 just because of that maybe yeah I, mean, I don't know how big she is so she could be definitely around that price range and she has digitized so that automatically adds like money onto her yeah we're dwindling down to the final two um characters which are the hooded phantom and the greeters i guess we could just kind of mash them up in one big final thoughts thing but hooded phantom i love him it, it, it is kind of like a big blob of blankets really on a basis for like a figure but i think it looks really cool with the green lights on him he's probably in my top five of this year so far what yeah i agree he's, he's really cool i think um something else the arms i believe move maybe up and down or side to side. I don't know how it works, but it does look like the arms move up and down from the stock image. Um, but I don't know what else it could do in terms of animation, but it does look really cool. I like it a lot. And it then, may move similar to Sailor Dweller. Yeah, probably in the same vein. And then we have the four foot, um, credit to Tristan for their name that we just dubbed them, the, the Spooky Greeters. I don't think they ha all have official names yet, but... There's a doll of one, of a witch, a uh, scarecrow, and a clown. The scarecrow's the best one, for sure. We don't know what they do yet, besides, but probably besides, like, maybe the mouth movement on them, or head turning. I think they probably have head movement, mouth movement, and maybe arm movement. Yeah. But they're going for around $99 to $120. That's, like, the estimate. Then again... That um that that could just be wholesale price for companies to purchase and resell them, um for but yeah these are not official prices I'm giving out here those are just what um has been rumored for them um as far as I'm aware but these are really awesome all this in, this lineup is very small but it's promising again like I said at the beginning of the video qu quality over quantity and I think it really executes well this is about I think this is the best year for the expo in my opinion what do you think of uh, this year overall yeah it's seems to be pretty promising especially with new svi stuff then like like the new technology that's coming out with svi so we could see some of that new like the sitting witch that can be standing up we could maybe be able to see something like that in spirit this year yeah that, that that's a good point we could see some um reskins of some of these guys at spirits maybe on and only or in store kind of like how we saw um a catacomb creature reskin but it's like with the uh, clown cuddles online only for spirit but yeah you make a good point there this is definitely my favorite year for the expo at least and i'm really excited to see what else these companies have in store for us because this does not disappoint in the slightest so i think that wraps everything up you have any final words for the video nope all right well thank you guys so much for watching and thank you tristan uh for attending this little collab we have here we might be doing more of these in the future never know but it was a lot of fun inviting me onto your channel you're welcome and without further ado i will see you guys next time and please subscribe to tristan's channel the halloween nightmare i will link it down in the description below and without further ado see you guys next time stay spooky